What's up, Norberg Nation? How is it going? So for today's video, we are going to be talking about how to slow down your racing. Now, I know that seems counterintuitive, but I promise it'll make sense here in a second. But before we get into that, we need to talk about today's sponsor, which is Race Rotax. Now, I've talked about it many times before, but Rotax has one of the best engine packages out there. I trust this brand fully with my Norberg Karting Academy. If you want more information on that, please make sure to check out the link down in the description. But this engine from an entry level standpoint to a professional level standpoint is a great package. Not only is it super reliable, but it's also super fast and super competitive. If you're interested in racing a Rotax event here soon, please make sure to check out the race Rotax US Trophy East race. This race takes place on June 16th through the 18th at the Pittsburgh International Race Complex. That's a very, very fun racetrack, a lot of elevation. If you're interested in trying to win a ticket to the coveted Rotax Grand Finals, one of the best, most fun experiences you can have in the karting world, you need to check out the race Rotax US Trophy Final at Newcastle Motorsports September 14th through the 17th. Like I said before, I trust this brand fully in the racing community. They have a great reputation over the years. So if you're ever interested in racing a Rotax, please make sure to check out the link below and register for one of these races. So now let's get straight into why you should race slower. Okay, so obviously I don't mean the overall time of your race should be longer. That would obviously put you at a huge disadvantage with your competition. What I do mean is you should slow down the race mentally. Have you ever been watching a race and you're looking at the front drivers and wondering how they're making so many good split second decisions? Well, because these drivers are racing correctly, the race is happening a lot slower for them than it is for you. Now, I know that it's hard to grasp that concept, but it'll make sense here in a second. Early in my karting career, I remember talking to one of my coaches about racing and I was getting really frustrated because it was hard for me to remember what I needed to do out on the racetrack. Not necessarily when I was just practicing, but when I'm in race scenarios, I was constantly getting flustered and not totally understanding what I should be doing on the racetrack. And what my mechanic told me was that the racing is still too fast for you. And at the time, I didn't necessarily understand it because obviously it's fast. We're going really fast around the racetrack. We're in go-karts that are made to go fast. Of course it's gonna be fast. And then it clicked. For the drivers that are competing at a high level, the racing is not going fast. It's actually taking place very slowly. So the real question is, how do we get to the point where the race slows down? And that's where I think I can help you guys today. So before I get into that, I wanna talk about the two drivers that I have mentally inside my head. I have the attack driver, and I have the relaxed driver. The attack driver is a driver that I think we all have. It's the driver that I use at all the starts of the race. It's when your adrenaline gets pumped up. It's when you get knocked off the racetrack. It's when you've got to fight for the win and those last couple laps, it's that attack driver that's focused on the here and now in every single corner. Now that driver is a very useful driver to have because it can get a lot done in the very early parts of a race. But at the same time, that driver is not very useful in the middle of a race when you're at lap 12, lap 13 of a final because it is going too hard and focusing on what's just happening in front of it instead of the race as a whole. Now the attack driver, it takes no effort for me to turn that driver on. As soon as the green flag drops, my attack mode is on, I'm ready to go. I'm focused on the here and now, I'm focused on the driver's bumper right in front of me and I'm trying to make moves as quick as possible. But the thing about the relaxed driver is that it does not turn on automatically. You have to put this driver into the driver's seat. So how do you do that? Now the first thing that you can do to get out of attack mode and into relaxed mode is take a deep breath. Now I know this sounds so simple, you're breathing while you're on the racetrack already, but if you go down the straightaway, you take a deep breath, that gives you a moment of realization that you're not thinking about everything that's happening at that moment, but you're taking in the race as a whole. It's something I like to do all the time. As soon as I get past the first three or four corners of a race, I like to take a deep breath. This just allows me to get out of the anger or the anxiety that I'm feeling because I got run off or whatever's happening on that first lap and realize there's still another 15, 20 laps left of this race. Take a deep breath and get into a strategy mode instead of just an all out attack mode. Now the next thing that I like to do to get out of the attack mode is to look past my competition. Now when you're driving in the mid pack, 
Something that I like to do when I'm in this spot is just to check out what the leaders are doing. When I'm saying look past your competition, I'm not saying look a few carts ahead. I'm saying look down the road and try and observe the race as a whole. Look at the leaders. Look at how many drivers are. Are there three or four guys racing for the lead? Is one guy checked out? This is a lot of information that's gonna help you out a lot throughout the race. If you're in a spot like me where you're in the mid pack and you're fighting your way back up to the front, knowing what the leaders are doing is just gonna help you strategize your race a little bit more. But more importantly, it takes you out of what you're doing in that instant. It helps you not to get so caught up in your battle and your fight and that driver that's directly in front of you and helps you relax and realize what you need to be doing. This can take you out of making consistent mistakes on the racetrack and put you back into a spot where you can understand what you did wrong, you can fix it, and then you can move on. It's pushing that attack mode driver out of the driver's seat and putting something that thinks a little bit more inside of it. It's gonna help take your heart rate down. It's gonna put you in a much more calm state. One thing I like to do to help me get out of that attack mode is to start finding weaknesses for my competition. This is why a lot of the good drivers look like they're making good split second decisions all the time. It's not that they're making split second decisions. These decisions were planned three or four laps before that pass was even made. They just finally got the opportunity and they pulled the trigger. A lot of these drivers throughout the race are sizing up their competition. They're not in that attack mode, just trying to make a pass. They're going through the corner and understanding this driver is worse off this corner. This driver has a little bit higher tire pressure. This driver's cart slides in the fast corners. And by doing that, they're able to pinpoint exactly where they wanna make a pass when the opportunity arises. So when you see drivers get into a spot where they're making these split second decisions, all they're doing is looking for the door to be opened and then going for it. It's basically a yes or no decision. It's not how am I gonna make this pass, it's yes, am I gonna make this pass or no, do I wait a little bit longer? So they're simplifying the race by taking themselves out of that attack mode and getting into a much more calm state. This is a super important skill that I think every driver could really use when they're on the racetrack. A lot of the drivers that excel in the sport aren't just excelling because they're fast on the racetrack. They're excelling because they're thinking and they're putting their cart where it needs to be every single lap. So if you wanna go faster in a race, slow down your racing. Thank you guys for watching this video today. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below any tips that you guys have to slowing down your races. Please make sure to get some Norberg Nation merch. It helps me out a lot when you guys support my merch. Um, it just helps me with this channel. If you guys want any coaching at all, please make sure to send your inquiries to the Norberg Karting Academy. This is an awesome experience and I would love to get more of you guys involved with it. And finally, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, and my TikTok. I post a lot of awesome racing content on there as well. So make sure to follow all of those. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.